It's Sam Hendrick again from Bentley Systems to continue our conversation about the Import Points VBA. Now, this VBA is capable of doing a lot of things, and this is going to be the seventh video in the series. This one, we're going to be placing line strings. So we've got a situation where we have coordinate data in an ASCII text file or CSV or Excel. The VBA wants a CSV file. We're going to read this in and we're gonna place in lines, creating a line string for our property description. So behind me is the web page where you can download this. There'll be a link down below in the comments. Let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the import points VBA, and we're going to be reading in coordinates to place in a property boundary line as a line string. So first of all, our source data is gonna be coming from a CSV file. So I'm going to show you the CSV file, drag this over. Here's my CSV file. I have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So this is going to place the first line. This is going to be a closed boundary. So I want to make sure that the first start point, the first X and Y location is the same as the last one. I need to make sure that they're identical. I'm going to show you a nice little trick in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to select all the cells. And in the bottom right corner, I get the quick analysis. Control Q is the shortcut. If I click on this, under formatting, one of the options is show me duplicates. It highlights the cells that are duplicate. And in this case, I do want the first row and this, the last row to be identical because that closes up my line string. Now, if I want to see that the other ones are unique, I can hover over the next little item there, unique, and those cells I want to be unique. So that's a good thing to check. Nice little Excel trick there. So that's my source data. Move that to the side. Now to launch the VBA. I'm going to go up to my utilities tab, which I have modified to pin my attributes to. Under macros, there's my VBA manager. I already have my VBA in the right folder. My station is looking for it. So I'm going to go ahead and load it. I can close the VBA projects dialog. Here's my import points VBA. We are going to be importing X and Y location, and we are going to have a header row. So first thing I want to do is under settings, I want to go and check to make sure it's recognizing that the first row is a header and that I'm not doing Latin long because I'm doing X and Y. So this is set correctly for what we're going to do. Click done. Next thing, output two in this option, we're going to be choosing line string. And then I'm going to choose my source file. So I'm going to hit select source file. I've already done this. So it's going to show up on my history here. Now under the source fields, you can see here there's X and there's Y. Those were the header titles that I had. That makes mapping them very easy. Now I can just drag and drop just like this if I want to. Or down at the bottom, I have click here to automatically map fields. If I click that, it will automatically recognize that X goes to that X and that Y goes to that Y. Again, as long as these headers are titled appropriately, they could be X and Y, could be Northing and Easting. The program would recognize both of them. Now at this point, I've got my attributes set. There's my level, color, style, and weight for the property lines I'm going to place. All I need to do now is click in the bottom right corner, place. And you can see on the right, there's my property boundary lines. It's that simple. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.